Carl Fischer titrations are used for measuring water content of solids and liquids. It is commonly performed in the pharmaceutical, cosmetics, food, and petrochemical industries. The Hock TitraLab Carl Fischer titrator provides a fast and easy method for performing routine volumetric Carl Fischer titrations. It can measure water content from 100% down to 0.01% or 100 ppm water content. Its sealed titration cell, along with its automatic fill and empty pumps, minimize errors due to water ingress and limit solvent odors. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the operation and verification of the Hawk TitraLab Carl Fisher titrator. This picture shows the entire system and labels the additional accessories that do not come standard with your instrument. Here is a list of those additional accessories with suggested part numbers. Some items, such as the concentration of titrant or type of solvent, may not apply to your particular analysis. If this is the case, you should alter the procedure to use the components that fit your application. For our demonstration, we are going to use a two-component solvent titrant system from Hydronol, which can be purchased from Sigma Aldrich. The titer of our titrant is the default 5 mg water per liter. Hawk TitraLab is suitable for all Carl Fischer solvents and reagents, including both one and two component reagents. See the sections in your manual for more information regarding choice of titrant and solvent systems. We are going to use a 5 mg per milliliter water standard for our calibration and verification. This is a volumetric sample that we will add with a pipette. Before we begin our analysis, we need to make sure our programming is set up properly by scrolling to the programming menu and pressing the check mark. And then scroll to P1KF standard to program our analysis for verification using the 5 mg per milliliter standard. Select Activate so the program will show up in the Start menu. Select Classic for our solvent and titrant. Extraction is a feature that allows more time for mixing and extracting water from samples that may have difficulty releasing their water molecules during titration. Since our water standard is in a matrix of methanol, we will select No for extraction. Consult your manual for more explanation of the extraction options. Keep the EP delay of 10 seconds and maximum volume of 10 mils. Set the drift criteria to automatic so the titration will not be allowed to start until the drift has fallen below 30 microliters per minute. For units, select AU volume, which is located below the percent unit. This screen displays the equation for calculating your result, which will be milligrams water per milliliter of sample. The B would represent your blank value if you were running one. F is the concentration of titrant. K is a constant. And VM is the volume of your sample. If you ever wish to change the volume of your sample you add, you must change this value to get the correct calculation. Change the sample volume to 3 mils. We will give our result a custom unit of milligrams per milliliter. Select No for comments. Press return to get back to the programming menu. We are now ready to begin our analyses. Begin purging all the tubes with fresh solvent and titrant. You can purge all of your lines into the empty titration cell. Go to manual activation. Purge the burette by emptying and filling it. The left arrow key returns titrant in the syringe back to the bottle. 
Press the return key to stop the purging. And then press return again to get back to purge the solvent tubes. Select pumps and dispense solvent. Press the check mark to stop dispensing. Push the waste tube down to the bottom of the cell. And select Empty Vessel. Stop emptying by pressing the check mark. Select Quit and return to get back to the main menu. It is good practice to verify your analysis with a known standard at least once a week. You may need to recalibrate your titrant if the results do not meet your specifications. Begin by making sure the waste tube is pulled up to the top of the cell to prevent contamination. Select Titrate. Select P1KF Standard. Select Continue. Select Dispense Solvent. The titrator will automatically dispense the correct volume of solvent. When it is finished dispensing, press Continue. A pre-titration step now occurs where titrant is dispensed into the cell to remove any residual water from the solvent. When the electrode senses all the water has been removed, it then tests the cell for ingress of water from the surroundings to make sure it meets the 30 microliter per minute drift criteria. You are now prompted for an optional sample ID. Scroll down and press continue. You are now prompted to add your sample to the titration cell. Pipette 3 mils of the 5 milligram per mil standard into the cell. and press the check mark to start the titration. Upon completing the titration, the result and titration conditions are displayed on the screen. In general, a result of plus or minus 10% of the actual value of the standard are acceptable. If your result is outside your acceptable range, you should first try rerunning the verification. If you continue to get unacceptable results and you trust your standard, try re-standardizing your titrant using the standard.